Hi, I'm Richard from Beast Consultants. Today we're going to start our first session on getting to know Drawboard PDF. So let's open Drawboard PDF. We're taken to our opening page and as you can see here it says open or create your first PDF. Well this is exactly where we start in Drawboard. So by clicking on the big X we're taken to our first lot of menu files. At the top of that file we see my folders. On the right hand side of that you can see that I've already pinned my iCloud drive, um, downloads, email attachment, drawboard and then we get to be able to pin a folder. So I'll show you how to do that firstly. We pin a folder, we just pick one out of our information we've already got and uh, we can add that straight into there as you can see on that right hand side so that's how we have a we pick a folder that we're going to uh, use and uh, what happens in instead of having to go back into our files all the time we can have a bit of a shortcut there to get into those files on the left hand side our next item is a blank document well here we get to add a page or start a PDF and uh, from here we can actually program a name for that document the size of the document and uh, this case we're going to uh, choose an A4 because it's a printable size and uh, we get to allocate how many pages we'd like to put in put in there too so we might pick, put in say four pages then we uh, can choose the orientation of the pages we're adding whether we want a portrait or landscape and then also we can add a color to the pages and as you can see here there's quite a list of um, page colors and uh, as we go through that go, go down there where you can even have a custom color so you can pick your own color background to suit whatever you need so today we're just going to uh, stick to white because it's easy and uh, we have our first document open well as you can see we've lost the names on the left hand side but as you uh, use use these you'll get familiar with what they are so the first one's our tab which gives us control over this document from here we can add other documents and other files that we may need access to to join to this this particular file that we've already created. Well, on the top here we have our view and layout tab. We'll have a look at that first. As you can see there's a list of uh, different controls that we now have for the document that we have opened. Remember I made four pages. So we can actually add to these, this document from here as well. Now, as you can see it says continuous mode. What that means is we can actually then go through the pages so what I'll do first off here is I'll number these pages as we um, go down we can add a number to the pages so that we know where we are so we have put four pages there we go back back to our view and layout if we go to now from single page to double page those pages are next to each other so now we can view two pages at the same time and that can be very handy when you uh, you want to scroll through documents quickly as you can see we can even perhaps look at the four pages if we needed to to move through those quickly so as we go through this you can see that it says fit page we'll go select our single one we can go page width which uh, expands the page to uh, fill the whole screen we can add a cover page so from here we can add notes about um, all our files perhaps you want to put your logo and other information there and you can have that as a permanent cover page so there's uh, already tools that we can choose and use from here to control our documents our next tab on the uh, left hand side is view all shows us all the pages that are here so remember there were four pages in that set that I've added um, you can see those lists listed on the uh, left hand side of our screen well, on the bottom of the highlighted box which is number page number one there are three little dots on the bottom corner there if we touch on those it gives us individual control of each page as it says there you can see it says insert a page rotate the page clockwise rotate it anti-clockwise clear the annotations that means it can clear the notes so perhaps if you've written a lot of notes on a page but you don't want to keep them instead of having to rub all those out individually you can clear all that notes that you've made very quickly just by tapping on that 
the next item on that menu is flatten the annotation so what that give, lets us do is leave all those annotations on the page and nobody else can rub them out so they become a permanent part of that document or plan or the notes that you've made the other thing that happens very quickly here is we can move from one document to the other with just a touch touch of our finger or touch of our pen I'm using a uh, a nice pen that comes along with the uh, Surface Pro clips to the side of it. It gives us good access and use of the pen. We um, might also note here we'll go back to insert a page and we can insert the page after or before. We can tr do it in portrait that we've been using or we can just to show you how it works we'll go to add a landscape one and uh, we can choose what color we'd like again and uh, we'll just choose the white and tick yes just to show you where that's added you notice on the left hand side here that there's now a landscape page and uh, we need to we can easily uh, just have a look at that there it is on our, our, our set of plans so this is this this one here is the one that we've just added so that's really great if you've got a whole set of notes and you want to add something um, you can just put a page in there write your notes out